crude oil last week has hit the lows what we had seen in the month of March and April 2023, almost 17 months back. We have seen it hitting $65 levels and this time hitting the lows, we have seen a very, very good recovery where the prices have hit $69 levels while closing the week at the critical resistance at 68 months. Now, what to expect in the coming week? Can we expect this recovery to continue? Can we expect a rise from the current levels or this is just a move to bring the prices within the bands and now again a drop is going to be there. What is going to be our strategy in order to profit trading crude oil in the coming week? We are going to see with the help of charts and indicators. Towards the end of the update, I'll be sharing the trading levels and strategies so that you can all trade profitably and comfortably in the coming week. Do like, share, subscribe and comment. Do press the bell icon. Yes, this is a weekly review. I do share my twice a day updates and targets for crude. First with the Asia and Europe session. Next with the US session. Two updates a day definitely adds meaning to your trading decisions. So, so, so subscribe to the channel. Press the bell icon, join the free telegram channel for live updates and join the channel memberships here on YouTube to support the effort. Uh, let's start first, we'll look into the charts here. If you look at the monthly chart, see this is the third bearish candle in succession here. And it appears that it is going to remain difficult for oil to move beyond 75 uh, for this month. And there's a complete reversal is what we are not looking at. But yes, this is also not something which is impossible. Anything and everything is possible here. If sharper the drop, the sharper could be the recovery here as well. And thus, right now I can say uh, the downside appears to be limited where it has seen the support levels at 64, 65. And if you look at the last few moves here since 2021, you can find out none of the candles have closed below 65. Despite price is hitting the lows here we have seen a recovery which is very 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 and the current levels it are definitely going to remain a very strong support here for crude oil uh, towards 65 64 zone moving averages on the monthly charts have started to convert but not yet crossed over these are still beautifully placed on the buy side here and if you look at the formation here uh, on the monthly charts look at the drop the retracement the drop the retracement the drop here it is uh, delivered lower highs and it is forming a nice flag here so a recovery from here in the coming months and a rise here on the upside cannot be denied but right now it is trading very 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 bearish if you look at the stock stick, this is also hit the lows here on the monthly chart this is crucial as uh, see oil hitting the lows here almost entering into the oversold increases the chances of a reversal and the same can be expected at this point for crude oil if you look at the the MACD is also likewise delivering good waves here and this also increases the chances of reversal here from the current levels and thus I think 64-65 is going to remain a prime support for at least for this month and next month definitely we will see how it behaves and where it closes in the month of September. The RSI looking downwards and this is uh, indicative that there could be a further move which can take it towards the oversold zone. Uh, see. This was the COVID drop and what a phenomenal recovery we had seen. And at the current levels also, we should be careful here. So now let's have a look at the week. On the weekly charts, the crossover here, the divergence here, definitely a bearish sign. If you look at the move here, you will find lower lows, lower highs. And it is trading in this channel here, hitting the bottom of this channel now trying to recover. Now, if you look at the complete, you will find the median is somewhere here at around 71, 72. And uh, now... The, there is a higher probability that in the coming week we may see a move which can take the prices towards 70, uh, 172 zone making it a greater resistance uh, again after hitting these levels we will see how it behaves at these levels but yes first point is is can we expect a rise towards 71, 72 zone in the coming week the answer is yes possibility exists here but also it has to break first the critical resistance is now, the first critical resistance lies now at 69.2 and then 69.6. Beyond that, 70.1 and then 71.1. So, these are going to remain the prime milestones. Beyond that, we can look forward to 72. As far as my understanding goes, I expect at least a little retracement, which can take it towards 71, 72.4. Uh, though breaking beyond 75, I think it is going to remain a difficult task for crude oil. But yes, it is not something which is impossible here. So, be watchful of this and any move now see another point to note here is if you see it trading below 
66.5 that is the point of time you can say that the up move is going to be difficult and more bearishness can be seen and then below 66.5 66.2 we can expect 65 64.8 and any drop below 65 64.8 will confirm a move towards 64 63.6 and if it breaks this, then 62 is certain below 62, another round of crash. But I think the move which we were expecting or we had seen now in the recent past for oil, which is a major bearish move, I think such a strong move is going to remain difficult for the near future. The stock stochastic on the weekly charts has also hit the lows here. And if you look at whenever it hit, oil hits such levels, it always uh, recovers strongly. And that is what we have seen in the uh, recent past whenever you take such move it is always followed with a recovery so uh, even if it tries to trade bearish I think we are very near to the lows here in crude oil the stock stochastic or if you look at the Magni this is trading with divergence and if you look at the formation here on Magni see the bottom here the rise and since then it is just consolidating right now though looking downwards uh, I will say I will say that yes uh, we have to be cautious and watchful at the current levels. I will still not treat this as bearish as long as 64, 65 zone is respected. RSI hitting the lows here, coming to the daily. Now look at the daily chart. See, yes, the moving averages are trading bearish. Look at the formation, the drop, the sideways move here and after the sideways move, another round of drop. So this is the first leg, then the sideways move, then second round of drop. Now to for oil to fall back within the zone is going to be one hurdle which it needs to break past and uh, the second hurdle is here at anyway 78.6 79.2 so first thing is to fall back within the zone and we will see how it behaves in this zone now the top of the zone or you can say the entry point of the zone somewhere here at around 71 72.4 so a possibility towards this zone exists strong now if you look at the daily charts last two green candles then a swing has appeared and also look at the moving averages the prices are trading with little divergence from the moving average and thus chances for it to converge here at this is strong and uh, at this point definitely we will watch out how it behaves if you look at the stock i think this is rising this also increases the possibility that the first two trading session we might see an up move if you look at the Mac See on the MACD also hitting the lows here, we have always seen a reversal here in the recent past from crude oil. See this is the beginning of 2024, this was the end of 2024 when we have seen oil hitting these levels and a stronger recovery was seen. Again for the year we have seen it delivering lower lows and look at the formation drop, retracement drop, retracement drop, hitting the lows here at these levels again trying to recover, possibly this could bring a stronger round of rise. So uh, coming week is going to be one decisive week which is going to decide the future of crude oil and yes as i said any move beyond 72.4 and at 75 levels is a good sign that the bulls are very much interested in keeping the oil price elevated rsi rising again a good sign coming to four on the four hour charts likewise see price is moving here taking the resistance now trying to find the support from the 20 period moving average and the 68 dollar levels are going to remain one prime support 68 66.5 this is the zone you should watch out for a drop below 66.5 and uh, will increase the bearishness here so yes at this point of time you have to be careful in between 60 uh, first at 68 then 66.5 and then 65.5 zone these levels are going to remain critical and crucial for crude oil if you connect the dots here you will find this was the bearish channel it has given a move on the upside and if you connect the dots here it is almost at the top of the channel so now in the coming week first thing is for the oil to stay above 69.2 69.6 and the second is to break beyond 71.1 71.2 if these two levels are taken we can say uh, that the bulls are interested and we are looking forward to a good round of rise which can in fact take it towards uh, c72.4 73.674 and then uh, beyond that further bullish move may prevail though appears to be a difficult thing for it to so show such a stronger move towards 74 and beyond a stock i stick looking down magd is in green trying to converge rsi is comfortable so now we have seen the charts and indicators time for me to give you the trading levels and strategy and before i give you the trading levels and strategy if you want to learn this art of trading join my mentorship batch and if you just want to trade as per the signals be a part of my signals channel on telegram 
uh, in one signals channel we trade diverse instruments from across the globe be it the indices us uk and germany or be it the uh, commodities including gold silver oil and night gas we trade in the single channel and you have the ample opportunity for you to profit so do join it today reach out to me for your queries my telegram and email ids are there in the channel and video description first let's talk about the levels to buy i will recommend you to buy oil at 68.6 itself which is very very nearby and uh, yes uh, those who had asked to recommend a broker let me also introduce the broker here uh, which offers you a swap free account low spreads and no hidden charges with global presence with easier transactions and withdrawals you can find the recommended broker link also in the channel and video description now at 68.6 you can buy first caution point is going to be 69.1 69.25 zone very good resistance then the nearest one at 69.6 and if it breaks this i will look forward to 70.2 once it moves beyond 70.2 see the bullishness will increase here if it stays above 70.2 but still uh, you can find the nearest one at 70.45 after that i will be looking forward to 71.1 and uh, 71.2 zone this is going to be the next stronger one beyond this i will be looking forward to 72.4 the intermediate resistance you will find at around 71.85 so here though i will be looking forward for ideally to move towards 72.4 this is the stronger one but intermediate resistance you can see it here on side so yes uh, 73.675 Four levels cannot be denied here if it keeps moving up upwards towards 72.4. On the down, I will recommend a selling at 68.2, but then expect 67.8, 67.4, 66.9, and then 66.5. Now, if it breaks this, then you can say increasing bearishness will prevail, and then I will look forward to uh, sixty-five point eight five, sixty-five point four. Any break break below this is a bearish sign where you can look forward to sixty-five, sixty-four point eight, and then sixty-four. Chances for this appears to be less. Uh, I still see that there is a possibility of a little retracement and a rise. And look at the levels I have mentioned on the upside, 68.6 you can buy, but then be cautious of this zone, 69.1, 69.25, first resistance. Next is also nearby. The next one is also nearby. This is critical, 70.2. If it breaks this, the chances of price is moving towards 71.1, 71.2 will increase. And if it breaks this, then 72.4. Beyond this is where the real bullishness will create. So take your positions accordingly, like, share, subscribe and comment, join my mentorship Beth and Signals channel. Do not miss to watch every day the twice uh, updates which, we, which I share with the Asia and Europe session and the US session. This gives you a fair bit of idea on how to profit. Do subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon, join the free telegram channel for live updates. Thank you, have a great profitable trading week ahead.